Hey guys, it's Joe from JetSet. Come and install a hot water system with me. So we first off, we're gonna start isolating the water. Turning it off here. Depressurize the unit. And now we can start undoing all the fittings. Oh, brown dirty water. Decommissioning the hot water system. Tray link, don't take them away if you leave any of the valves in there. So you have to take out all the fittings. Get your bolt stick. Make sure there's no power going to it so you don't kill yourself. A small little screwdriver, undo the active first. Then the negative. Touch them together. And they should trip on the switchboard if it's still active. In the earth. So right now we're putting in the bung because this hot water system gives you the options of putting it on the left hand side or the right hand side but because the power is too short I'm going to have to bung off this side and twist the hot water unit around so I can reach the power and then install the valve train. This is a pre-bought quickie kit. First of all we're going to start with the cold water inlet again using lock seal. I like to use the copper to line it up with the hot water unit to make it go straight. So then that's straight for us to use. I like to do the lagging as I go, so then you don't have to cut the lagging and it makes it look like a nice, neat, tidy job. Next goes on is the T-piece, straight out of the quickie kit. We're getting ready to do the connection to the bottom half of the tempering valve which I'll show you now. This is the tempering valve. So as you can see C and H, H for hot, C for cold and this is the mixed water coming through. So you've got cold here. Now for the hot water outlet. Fix that into position and it should be okay. These are half inch benders. Get it right down there onto the 90 degree mark so you've got a perfectly straight bend. Lagging on again because this pipe will get hot and even burn you if touching. This is an isolation and pressure limiter combo valve. Goes into the O ring washer. Just getting everything in place here at the moment. This is your 850 ECV or cold water expansion valve just to help relieve the pressure of the hot water system. Well, the entry to the hot water system. So there you go. That's the valve train. It's not all tight yet. We're just getting everything into place and then we're going to start connecting up to the hot and cold lines around the side here. Utilizing the B-Press tool. And this is the final product. Thank you for watching.